This guy built a $12,000 a month web app called Screenshot One. This guy makes $37,000 a month with his web app called Noteforms. And Airbnb, well, it started off as a basic web application, but generated over $11 billion in revenue last year. The reality is that web applications are the perfect side hustle because they can reach billions of users worldwide, run 24 seven and scale without hiring an army of employees. But the problem with them is that they're hard to build. You need to learn how to code, understand how the web works, design user interfaces, set up databases, configure servers, and do a lot more. And all of that can take months or years to do correctly. But what if I told you that there's a vibe coding tool out there that lets you build and deploy a fully functioning web app from scratch in just a few hours without writing a single line of code? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. Hey folks, I'm Addy, and this is episode 11 of my startup series where I'm challenging myself to build a tech startup from scratch and document everything on this channel. And today I'm going to show you how I built this Kanban style productivity app with user authentication, database integrations, Stripe payment and pro only analytics dashboards, all from scratch in two hours without writing a single line of code using an application called Hostinger Horizons. Let's get started. Hostinger Horizons is a chat-based application that can build and deploy entire web applications for you through prompting. To get started, navigate to Hostinger's website and click on the login button to create an account. Once you're logged in, you can click on websites, website list, and add a website. From there, select Hostinger Horizons and you're good to go. Now, before I get started using Horizons, I spent a bit of time writing down all the requirements for my application, which included stuff like the tech stack I wanted to use, the color palette for my UI, and all the different pages, functionality, and user interactions that my UI would need to surface. I also wrote down the requirements for how authentication, subscriptions, and payments would work for my app, along with what features would be free and what would be paid for pro users. Once I was done, I pasted those requirements into Hostinger Horizons, but I didn't ask it to build the entire application yet. Because from my experience with LLMs, I knew that getting Horizons to build something so complicated with one massive prompt is very likely to lead to bugs. So to prevent that from happening, I asked it to build one step of my application at a time and made sure it worked correctly before moving on. And that's exactly what you see me doing over here. I'm asking Horizons to complete step one of my application, which is connecting to a Superbase database and setting up different tables within it, which I'll need later on to persist user data for my application. Oh, and if you're not sure what Superbase is, it's an open source alternative to Firebase that uses a Postgres database with pre-built authentication, instant APIs, and real-time subscriptions. It basically functions as the backend for your web application. And I'm using it because Hostinger only supports Superbase databases at the moment, but honestly, it's a great choice for side hustles, so I can't really complain. Anyways, once I could see that the different tables were set up correctly on the Superbase UI, I was ready to move on to the next step, which is building the login page for my web application. I started off the same way by asking Horizons just to build the login page for me and stop there. Right off the bat, I could see that the UI it generated had contrast issues because the text on this login form was too hard to read. But fixing that with Horizons turned out to be pretty easy. I basically just told it that the contrast was terrible and it figured out how to fix that on its own. Once that was fixed, a few things really stood out to me. The UI it generated actually looked really coherent. The components it generated, like this card, had great styles applied to it. The form fields, text, and buttons were all really consistent. The layout of the form, the spacing between elements, and the padding around different elements all looked really cohesive to me as well. And on top of all of this, there were also these really subtle animations that it added to the UI, which might be hard to see in the video, but really improved the overall user experience. But I was curious about how it actually did that so well, which is why I exported the code it generated and opened it up in VS Code. And when I looked at the code, I was really impressed. Horizons decided to use Tailwind's pre-built spacing class names, along with Radix UI, which is an open source component library, and Motion, which is a really powerful animation library. 
And if you watched my previous video, you'll know that these are the exact resources that I shared and stand by when it comes to building stunning web applications for side hustles, because they're really quick to set up and make your application look really coherent and nice to use. So it was really nice to see Horizons leverage existing libraries instead of building things from scratch, because that's less likely to lead to bugs. Once the login page was working, the next thing I wanted to do was to build the navigation bar because it's a piece of UI that's going to be shared between all the different pages that I create later on. So I couldn't proceed without building it. So once again, I asked Horizons to build just the nav bar and stop right there, which was a great call because right off the bat, I noticed three issues. The first was the same contrast issue as before. The second was that the navigation bar was being shown on the login pages, which I didn't want. And the third issue was that there was way too much padding on large screen sizes. After describing those issues to Horizons, it was able to fix them for me. And just like that, I had a fully functioning navigation bar in just a few minutes. Once that was done, I moved on by getting Horizons to build the homepage for me. Now keep in mind, I didn't really have any particular design ideas for this page. I just knew what actions I wanted a user to be able to take from the homepage, which is what I specified in the initial requirements. And this is where Horizons really shined without much direction from me. It was able to figure out what the UI should look like and actually did a great job at it. The interface it designed not only fulfilled all the fundamental requirements I had outlined, but it also looked visually appealing. So you can see that Horizons went above and beyond and generated an empty state with a clear call to action button when this page is empty. And when it's not empty, the users see this grid of cards where the first card now has the same call to action and the other cards represent the board that the user created. We've even got these subtle hover animations and responsiveness on different screen sizes. And sure, there are a few things that I could nitpick on if I wanted to be really critical, but honestly, the overall result is way better than I expected. Anyways, once the homepage was done, I moved on to getting Horizons to build a Kanban view for each board. Now, this is where my first major test for Horizons comes in, because to build this page correctly, it needed to properly sync data with multiple tables in my database. And on top of this, in my original requirements, I mentioned that for this page, we need drag and drop functionality. And if I was coding this myself, I'd use a library like React DND or DND Kit instead of trying to build drag and drop functionality from scratch, which would be an absolute nightmare. But when I asked Horizons to build this page for me, it did that without any problems. It correctly read and wrote data to different super base tables whenever a card was created, updated or deleted, and it even downloaded and used DND Kit automatically to handle the drag and drop functionality. And after a few iterations and minor bug fixes, everything seemed to be working really well. I could create new cards, update them, delete them, drag them around and update their deadlines. I thought I was ready to move on until I opened up the browser's network tab and noticed a serious issue. I could see an infinite number of requests being fired within seconds, which is definitely a major bug. I didn't immediately know what was causing this because you can't really see the underlying code that Horizons generates unless you export it. And by this point, I was getting a bit frustrated with Horizons because no matter how hard I tried to describe the bug, it just wasn't able to fix it for me. So I exported the code once again and quickly found the issue. There was a problem with the dependency array on the use effect hook that was being used to fetch data from Superbase. Basically, after fetching data, React was re-rendering a component which was causing it to refetch data again, which triggered another re-render and so on, creating an infinite loop of network requests. Now, although I was able to fix this issue pretty quickly because I know how to code, if you're someone who doesn't, then don't worry because Hostinger has a 24-7 support team which can help you out with pretty much any bugs that you encounter in over 30 different languages. But once I fixed that issue, everything was working really smoothly on this page and I was ready to move on to the next part of the application. At this point, I had built all the free features of my app, which meant that the next step was to build the payment flow. This is basically the step that allows users to upgrade their account and access all of the pro features through a monthly subscription. My original plan was that clicking on the upgrade to pro icon in the navbar should simply redirect users to a payment page. And after a user completes payment, they would be redirected to the home page of the app. But Horizon suggested a much better approach. Clicking on the upgrade to pro button would now showcase the benefits of upgrading to a pro account to a user. And if a user liked what they saw, they'd be redirected to a checkout page that shows a comparison of all the different pro plans. Right now, I only have one plan, but tomorrow I can decide to have three plans at three different price points. 
Once a user selects a plan, they'd see a checkout page and after completing payment, they'd see a payment confirmation page and be redirected to the home page where they'd now see a crown on their profile to indicate their pro status. I was impressed by how Horizons transformed a basic transaction into a thoughtful guided experience that gave users more control and information. Once the payment flow is implemented, I tested everything by upgrading my test account using Stripe's test credit cards. And once I was sure everything was working properly, I was ready to move on to the final step, which was building out the analytics page for each Kanban board. Building the analytics dashboard was pretty straightforward at this point. I'd gotten into a good rhythm with hosting a Horizons and my system of having it built just one step of my application at a time was working really well. So once I made sure that Horizons understood exactly what I needed for the analytics page, which metrics to track, how to visualize them, and how to fetch the data from Superbase, I asked it to go ahead and build it for me. And honestly, there's not much to say over here anymore because the process was surprisingly smooth. While there were a few minor bugs that needed fixing, I got everything working pretty quickly. And with the analytics dashboard complete, I had version zero of a fully functioning side hustle app, complete with authentication, payment processing, and pro only features, all built with no coding on my part in just a few hours. The only thing left at this point was to deploy my app and make it live. One of the big advantages of using Hostinger Horizons is how simple this final step is. Now, traditionally, you need to deploy the backend of your application to a host server, deploy your front end to another server, link them together, generate SSL certificates, and finally connect a domain to your application. Hostinger handles all of that and makes deploying applications really easy. All I needed to do was click on this publish button and within seconds, my application was live on the web. If I wanted to, I could even connect my own domain in minutes and have everything working under my own branded URL. And just like that, my project went from an idea to a fully developed web application with surprisingly little effort on my part. The entire process from requirements to deployment was significantly faster than it would have been if I built everything from scratch myself. So with a tool like Hostinger Horizons, development time is cut down from days or weeks to just hours. And sure, while the code it produces might not be production ready, you're still getting a fully functioning prototype that's ready for testing in just a few hours. And from there, all you need to do is refine the code and then move on to other aspects of your side hustle, like marketing the app. And to really show you how much you can achieve in just a few hours with this tool, these are two more apps that I built in the same night in just a few hours. Hours. The first is a simple expense tracker that lets me enter and categorize expenses and then generate analytics on my spending habits. The second is a fully functional restaurant ordering system where a restaurant owner has the ability to create a menu for his restaurant, generate printable QR codes for each table in his restaurant. From there, guests can then scan that QR code to order menu items directly, which gets sent to the kitchen and kitchen staff see this view, which is used to track the orders coming in. So if you're interested in trying out hosting a horizons for yourself, then click the link in the description and enter the code on screen to get 10% off the first month of your subscription. Thanks for watching.